Something like 300 million kids around the world are breathing incredibly toxic air. Uh, there's a new report out from UNICEF, and the report, which uses satellite imagery to determine what's been impacted, say that these kids live in places where outdoor air pollution exceeds international guidelines by at least six times. Um, together, it's something like two billion children that are breathing air that's determined to be a long-term hazard that exceed minimum standards by the World Health Organization. Air pollution is a major contributing factor in the deaths of something like 600,000 children under five every year, and it threatens the lives and futures of millions of kids every day. Pollutants don't harm, don't only harm children's developing lungs, uh, they can actually cross the blood-brain barrier and permanently damage developing brains and the futures of kids. So no society can afford to ignore air pollution. Um, the UNICEF report also says poor air quality can have an outsized impact on kids. Their lungs are still developing, their respiratory airways are more prone to blockages, and these children breathe twice as fast, taking in more air per unit of body weight compared to adults. The impact of living in a place where poor air quality extends far beyond childhood is important. The result talks about studies that have shown that the lung capacity of children living in pollutant environments can be reduced by something like 20%, similar to the effect of growing up in a home with secondhand cigarette smoke. The combination of respiratory, cardiovascular, cognitive, morbidity and reproductive health effects of air pollution have biological and social and economic effects that last a lifetime. These include health conditions, problems with school attendance, high health costs, and drop-offs in productivity. And this isn't going to end up affecting income, poverty, and inequality. Air pollution, though it's a, got a big and cumulative impact on overall the wealth and well-being well -being of children and parents, can continue uh, cycles of inequality. Uh, if you look at both outdoor air pollution from a factory and indoor air pollution, like smoke from solid fuels used in cooking, uh, these are causing damage to children's health. Outdoor air pollution is worse in lower income urban communities, while indoor air pollution is really spreading in low income rural areas. At the same time, the UNICEF report talks that about it can be difficult to spread, split up the impact of each because uh, people are still moving constantly between indoor and outdoor environments. Uh, the problem is getting worse because of industrialization based on current projections from UNICEF. Unless action is taken to control outdoor air pollution, studies have shown that outdoor air pollution is going to become the leading cause of environment-related childhood deaths by 2050. South Asia has the, lot, the biggest number of kids living in these areas. There's something like 620 million and then Africa's got something like 520 million children. The East Asia and Pacific region has another like half billion children living in areas that exceed the guidelines. Something like 92% of the world's population breathes air with dangerous levels of pollutants. This is important. We need to put a